Kia ora tato. In this video we're going to look at isomers. So isomers are molecules that have um, the same number of atoms in those molecules but are different from each other for a various number of reasons. And so in this topic we're just looking at two different types of isomerism. So the first type is structural isomers. So a structural isomer is a compound or two compounds or more that share the same molecular formula but have a different arrangement of their atoms or a different structural formula. So if we take C4H10, for example, there's different ways that we could show this uh, compound. So the first obvious way is that we could do a straight chain of four carbons, and then we could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So this has got four carbons and 10 hydrogens. This would be butane. Uh, but we could also draw this with a branch chain, and that would contain the same number of, of atoms in it. So we could have two methyl uh, propane. So one, let's draw in all the, all the hydrogens and count them up. H. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 hydrogen still, and 4 carbon still, except this is called 2-methyl-propane. So those are structural, or you might hear constitutional isomers, where we've got the same molecular formula, uh, but a different arrangement. Another example could be if, if we had... Um, a functional group. Uh, the functional group could come off different carbons and would therefore have a different name and be a different structural isomer. So the trick with this is that once you've drawn your structural isomer, make sure you name them and if they end up with the same name, it could be that you've just put um, put something on the opposite end but it still ends up being the same thing. So structural isomers should all end up with different names. Uh, geometric isomers are isomers that have the same molecular formula and the same structural formula, or the same name, but they have a different, the way that the atoms are arranged is different in space. And so this can only happen if we've got a double bond present in the molecule. So the very common example that gets used is butene. So butene can be drawn like this, um, where we're emphasizing the double bond. And because this double bond cannot rotate, so by rotate that means that this carbon, can, uh, this methyl group cannot then rotate around uh, to then be on the bottom. So when this is formed, either the methyl group is on the top and the hydrogen is on the bottom, or vice versa. So we could draw this butene in two ways. We can draw it with both the methyl groups on the top or we could draw it with one methyl group on the top and one methyl group on the bottom, like that. And so these these have the same, these would still be butene, but we need to differentiate them because in this case we've got the, yeah, both on the top, then one on the top, one on the bottom. So the way we do that is called a cis butene. So cis being on the same side, and then trans butene. 2n with both being on opposite sides. Uh, in your exam questions you'll have to explain why some molecules can form a geometric isomer and some can't. So for example if there was no double bond here then they, these would be able to rotate freely and that would not form a, a, a geometric isomer. So there are two, um, two criteria for a geometric isomer. One, and I will just get some more space, one is that there needs to be a double bond that prevents rotation. Prevents rotation. And two is that each carbon in the double bond uh, must have two different atoms or groups of atoms attached to it. Different atoms or groups of atoms attached. 
So by this we could use as an example, if we had a double bond that restricts rotation, um, so that meets the first criteria, uh, but if this was propane, then we would have two hydrogens coming off this carbon here, and so because there's two of the same atoms attached to this carbon molecule, or to this carbon atom in the double bond, if these were to rotate, we would still have hydrogen and hydrogen. It wouldn't make a difference. So there needs to be, this needs to be different from that in order for it to be um, having two different atoms or two different groups of atoms attached to the carbon. So in this case, in the case of, of propane, we don't meet that second criteria, and so this could not form a geometric isomer. So those isomers is a very common question that comes up. Uh, worth going back and checking some um, exam questions on this. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you for the next one.